Hey guys, my name is Cidiac and welcome back to another experimental video here in City Skylines where we're pretty much continuing from the last experiment where we tested to see which is the most preferred form of public transport. Now I tried to make this as even as possible where one form of public transport wasn't favoured over the other and we only really tested it out of four transportations altogether which it turned out the trains and the buses were the ultimate winners at the end of the day well a lot of you guys wanted to see me test it on every single type of public transport and that is what we're going to be doing today so i'm pretty excited if you guys are excited then please make sure you smash that like button down below if you're new around here then make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out now, one thing that I could have done and should have done to make it a little bit more even, because my, my mathematics was a little bit off, and that is, on the very edges here, the bus station and the train station, even though that they were the most used ones, technically, they have 25% more um, people that can use it based on the edges. Because when you look at it, if I, for example, pick this like the, the 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 metro or the trams they have this square this square this square and then this square this square and this square so they have these three squares if you think about it that are dedicated to them these two squares here and there are shared between the buses and the metro so when you take that into account they share it let's say they only get half of it when you then go to the buses the buses gets half but then the buses gets a whole chunk of this so it kind of makes a little bit of sense, doesn't it? Where they've kind of got like 25% more. So that was the only thing that you guys suggested that I do. Is just take away that strip here. And I won't do it on here because I'm extending down this way. But when we get to the final end, don't do that little bit just there. And that is a way that we can make sure it's as fair as possible. But apart from that, I got it as fair as I, I think I could do. Now... There's many, many other types of public transports. I haven't even looked and counted how many there is, but let's just think about it this way. We have the buses. Now, you could argue, you know, biofuel buses and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to go down that route. It's literally going to be one form of public transport from each category. So we've done the buses. We haven't done the trolley buses, which is what we're also going to get in. We've done the trams. We've done the metro. We've done the trains. So that's one for the trolley bus. Somehow, two for the ferries. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to go down. You can't do planes, but you can do helicopters. So that's three. Uh, four for the monorail. Five for the cable carts. Six for the taxi. I'm not sure how we're going to be able to do that one. Now, tours. Tours is interesting. Like, really interesting. I can do a hot air balloon. I can do a sightseeing. I can do a walking tour, but I don't think I'll go down that route. We have the post service, which is not a form of public transport, so don't even go down that road. And then we have all the transport hubs, which we're not going to go down that road either. It's just literally the standard stuff. So we'll focus next on the trolley buses. So before we do that, we need to extend our little beautiful pattern that we have been creating. So we go up here. Um, straight across, straight down, bam, 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 bam. And I'll do another set here as we extend to our next form of public transport. So this is going to be very similar to how we did the buses over here. So we need the trolley bus, but it needs to have a uh, two-lane road like this. Now, this is going to be really interesting. We have to kind of do the same mechanics, like we don't allow other types of vehicles to use it, making sure that nobody's walking down that road because it defeats the purpose of using buses and whatnot. But how we did it over here was, because these trolley buses, it kind of needs to be electrified <laughs> in many ways. And that was a, a free... Is it stud? I forgot what these are called right now. Uh, like that. And then we were doing 10 by 10 bends. Right, that's what we're doing. So the 10 by 10 bend happens, yeah, off here. So 10 by 10. And then we're pretty much following, like, to as far as you've taken. Well, I actually don't know how far we're taking it. But if I just leave that to that, 
because we have to then mimic it on this side. Oh, it's stressful, boys. It does get a little bit stressful when you're trying to build all this jazzy stuff right now. So, oh, delete, delete, boys. Bam, bam, bam. There's so much stuff I've got to get in. I've also enabled the super demand mod this time around because I can then guarantee people are getting in and we're rocking and rolling. So is that what I need to do? That is, yeah, that's what I need to do, right? I think so. I think so. <laughs> so that's all I need to do. Uh, the trolleybus road things again. So up by three, across, down. Uh, we upgrade this one. We then just go for the standard 10 by 10. And voila! We are then all connected with the trolleybuses. So we need to get down in the, the, the depot, which I'll place just there, just so it's kind of out the way. And then we do our stop. And how do we do it in here? We did it on the inside section there, all the way to the inside section here. And did I do the inside section? Yeah. And then back we go. So I won't add in all the residents just yet. We'll just keep going until I know 100% I've got everything in. So a little bit of water there. I don't know what makes something down there, but we'll have to do it anyway at some point. Uh, we need some power. Of course we do. So I think I'll take it from over here. There we go. Trolley buses are now activated. Nice. <laughs> nice. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, how many buses do I have on the route of this six? I need to make sure that we do the same amount of buses so no one's got an unfair advantage by buses being able to transport more people quickly. Thus fluctuating and fabricating the numbers. Don't want to go down that road. So that's how trolley, trolley buses then done. Uh, now we're focusing on oh, ships. How am I going to do a ferry line? This is going to be interesting. I have everything that we're doing today. This is going to be the most interesting one. Ferries. I don't know how we're going to implement this in. I also don't know how I'm going to implement it in being so close near to the um, to this. So what I think I might do is, rather than do ferry straight away now, I'll do cable carts because it's too close to this. I need more space to work with. I need more space, guys. So bam, 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 bam. Let me just go across one more. I might as well just go bam, bam, bam for days right now. All right, there we go. There we go. So that's the next additional two. I'm going to do the same on this side so we get the next additional two set up. And uh, it should be a fairly conclusive experiment, this. It should be. I've also then got to adjust how we do the space elevator then as well. So everyone is it's more evenly distributed again at that point. Uh, but anyway, let's go and look at the cable cards to begin with first then, because they they can pretty much be a straight line, right? Um, I can do the end of the cable cart stop, or I can do the one that goes sideways. I'm gonna do the one that goes sideways. So if I place that just there, place that just there. And you can't actually bend these, can you? So if I go by a free, by a free, by a free, right? If I do it like that, that kind of then simulates the bend that we've been creating. And then go straight across. It's not perfect, okay? But it's trying to simulate this kind of system. Whether it does or not, I don't know. I don't fully know. So, please. Please, forgive me. Right, let's go straight across this. Give it some power. Monorail activated! Right, okay. <laughs> let's go back to the ferry line then. So, this is going to be really interesting right now. Or do I leave the ferry line to the very end? Because I know that's going to be the one that I need so much more room on. Um, monorail. Let's do the monorail next. So a monorail could even go like that. It could be connected. Uh, that's pretty much it. So if I had to kind of go there, and then go there, and then, and then you can bend these, can't you? Yeah. And what's a 10? Or oh, a 10 by 10 is like that. 
Um, right. Easy, boy. Easy. Ten by ten. All the way down. Ten by ten. Okay. Okay. Monorail placed in. So, bam, there to there. And then back. Right, we can connect the power up a bit more. So, no, I could have, like, you know, I've wasted a lot of dead space there, but it is what it is. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there with all the additionals. Then we'll do, then, the monorail. No, we just did the monorail. <laughs> you fold. What am I missing? Hold on, hold on. Done the metro. Okay, we've done buses. We've done the trolley buses. We've done the trams. We've done the metro. We've done the trains. We haven't done the ferries, which we'll get to soon. We haven't done helicopters, which, again, we'll get to soon. What else do we have? Oh, we also have blimps. Of course we do. So it's only just those two we can kind of work with. Done the monorail. Done the cable cars. So... Right, we'll do the helicopters next. Now, helicopter stop. Bam. Bam. It looks kind of mad and invasive, but literally... It's not. I'm back. But I've also got to add in a helicopter depot, is that right? Helicopter stop? No. Um, what have I got to add in? Helicopter depot. That's what I got to add in, right? Yeah. So let me just kind of create a little bit of an extension on the road, which I'll bring to about there. And we drop that just there. So then the helicopter nuss. Right, let me. What do you mean space already occupied? Get it out of here, boys. Right, we'll do a little dip there. That's, that's fine. It's fine. Right, helicopter's now in. So technically I need to do blimps. And... Ferry line. So it's another... Square. There. It's a, another square here. So this will be the blimps. So how does a blimp... Where's the blimp things? Blimp depot. Which these are quite large, aren't they? Blimp depot! Wait. Blimp stop. Oh, blimp depots and stops are different. Blimp stop. Blimp stop. So I'm going to do the blimp path. <laughs> and then the blimp depot, which I'm going to get over on this side. That was a blimp depot, right? No, that was a helicopter depot, said he. Are you a blimp depot? You're a blimp depot. Right, just get these connected. And then from there to there and back. Now, I know these ones are shorter distances. But they are definitely a whole lot slower. That is pretty much a standard back and forward, isn't it? So I'll come back in a moment and we'll adjust slightly the the distances they need to travel. Because I've got, I've got to try and make it, make it as fair as possible. But I feel like, is that it then? Is it just now the ferries remaining? Is that literally all that's left? Right, let's figure this out together. So we've done the, the that. Um, done the monorail, done the cable cars. We've done... Oh, no, taxis. Right. Now, taxis are going to be a whole lot different because... Uh, you can't really go from point A to point B, can you? So... Right, we'll do, we'll, we'll do the ferries now. We'll do the ferries next. So I need to create and add in 
the water structures. And do I go quite wide or quite narrow? We'll go with this one. And I don't quite know how close I need to be to the edge. So if I do that, and then we go for a 10 by 10 bend, just to there. Ten by ten bend, just like that. And for the sake, now I think we can get away with it. I need water, 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 water. Rich, pause. I've just realised I got the real time mud on right now. I've only just realised that because I was, I was I was recording some Woodville earlier. I might have to reload the game because obviously that's going to affect our results. Um, right, so that's going to cause a little bit of flooding. Which we don't mind, boys. No, we do mind. We do mind. Uh, just wait for the water to settle. Oh, dear God. Flooding everywhere. Flooding everywhere right now. Is the water going to settle? Yo, water. You going to settle, mate? Um, okay, right. We'll go with the deeper ones. No, it's not going to happen, Siniak. It's not going to happen. <laughs> right, hold on. Hold on, mate. Because we need to kind of sort something out. We're going to go for a wider canal here. Is that enough to contain it? I'm flooding everything. It's a good job we've got Fingy on. Um, right, get rid of you. Right, I've redone it. I feel like we're going to have to kind of create something a little bit more natural, aren't we? Because this ain't going to work. This is not going to work. Right, what we'll do is get rid of you. Brush size a little bit higher. Right, I'm going to do a little puddle there. <laughs> Which I'll bring it to here, which it will fill that up. Okay. And then we'll throw in that like that to regulate the water flow. Oh, it's, it feels so complicated, this does. It feels so complicated. So, we're going to drop in then. And this is the interesting bit right now. Oh, this is, this is the interesting bit. This now changes everything. So, right. Pause. So, if I go back to there. If I go back to there. And then from that, with the, the we'll go with the the medium. Why not? We then create our ten by ten and go up. Right, press play. Cause more flooding. Of course we do. Now if we put that there, it's still too far away. I'm not really gonna get the full shebang, am I? I'm not really going to get it. Oh my goodness me, Siniak. Please stop flooding everything right now. What if I do it on the wide one then? So, a 10. By 10. And I've got to wait for the flooding to now disappear. Can I not really get it up to there? Fine. Game. Fine. Now, this is going to act a little bit differently, but it also gets treated the same then as if we were doing a bus route. You know, it sticks out slightly, which is not ideal, but it's what we have to do. So I think we'll unhook it to delete it. Uh, 
and then bam just like that we have a ferry dock I don't know how we managed to do that but we managed to do it and then try and now this feels like really far away on this side so how is this one gonna play out like if I did a 10 by 10 there that feels so far away and just do that to there but then again it's not when you kind of look at it on, on that scale all right get rid of you and oh no we meant to do four BAM! And then we need the ferry line. Well, we need a ferry depot first. Which that can get squeezed for now there. Which can then create my little ferry line from there to there and back. Glorious, mate. And then we'll just get that connected like that so it's all up and running and all we're really missing right now is taxis but because we can't create a point a to point b i don't think i'm gonna place them in so let me get back to rocking and rolling let me just get all up and running uh to the point where everyone's got power everyone's got water i've got all this sorted we'll come back i'll get rid of the real time mod because i didn't even realize i had that turned on and then we'll ultimately see what happens so in now this after a fair few time has passed by i got rid of the space elevator because it came quite complex to try and get it all navigated separately but i feel like we've got enough people right now nearly ten thousand people living here that it's a, a good indicator of who's using what now give or take a few millimeters or whatever it's pretty much all identical everyone's got like a you know a decent size of residential around them uh, everyone's got you know a certain like allocation of residents and the distances from one point a to point b are pretty similar so i i don't think we can kind of argue too much with what's going down i got two ferries two blimps and two helicopters on this route so there's always kind of one turning up and then get, get gone and all that kind of jazz uh, when it comes to the ferry line doesn't seem to be using that much there is a fair few people using the blimps which is interesting loads looking for the helicopters right now which is kind of interesting too uh monorail is a little bit more difficult to see and so really it's just kind of in you know it's gonna be really interesting to see what is coming out on top now originally it was the buses and it was the trains and the argument you could have made is always oh, that's because they're they're on the end but now we have something a lot bigger a lot more complex a little bit more crazy if you ask me and when we go to check this we've paused it oh my. and straight away we can see that the trains are coming out top dog they really are now that's not to say that the trains are doing the best it's just because they have the highest capacity now we need to kind of try and match those capacities it's going to be quite difficult in all ways shapes and forms but i think what we're going to do is we're going to put now the maximum amount of vehicles on each line and see how that changes so currently as of right now uh we're looking at um what is it first trains then actual hold on that's interesting because it says airplanes but that, that is combined blimps and um helicopters so those two together get that figure so you can't really uh say anything about that one just yet so well i mean if i click on it you can kind of see the differences yeah so together they're quite high individually no it then goes the uh the buses believe it or not the actual electric buses trolley buses are uh not as good as i thought they would be we the trams have picked up okay it's interesting right let's see what, what we can do in terms of maximizing so the idea now behind this would be if i maximize the amount of uh vehicles on it 
then we are we, we're literally carrying the most passengers and by that kind of thought process we can get a, a true reading of how many people or what the people prefer to use because if you've got the maximum amount of vehicles on a line then there's nothing more you can do at that point it all comes down to then uh, how much these lines can support the pedestrians so we do the blimp right now uh, monorail so again I, I haven't done I can't do anything to the cable cars but I haven't done the taxis so I don't feel like that is a good judge of character because we can't really create a line from point A to point B um, right we got have we got power issues it looks like we have having power issues right now so I'm going to drop down a couple of wind turbines there just to kind of keep it going interesting right anyway 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 we now have maximum vehicles so what the issue now is these guys are getting held up by other people which is not good for me uh, as they all try to turn in but once we get that flow we're gonna have to give it a little bit of time for these vehicles to move along and then we can keep rocking and rolling because they're still trying to bring trams out when we have trams so it's not really going too well for us at the moment. But as it, one keeps moving, another one appears. And before you know it, we'll have a constant flow, like the buses are right now. That's what we'll have eventually with the trams. So we just have to kind of play ball for just a moment. And uh, try and get these out. Can I just, like, delete the offending trams until they're all out? Makes it a little bit easier for us, right? Keep deleting the offending trams. Until they've all gone. And then before you know it, we're rocking and rolling. <laughs> I got so many trams on this line. So many trams on this line right now. Right, we're slowly moving. I'm just trying to get more and more of the trams out. So get rid of you, move you along to try and push them down that way. And then eventually we've, we should find that balance where we've got all of them out. And nobody else wants to turn in anymore. Please, tap. that's all the trams. Right, that's good. That's now all the trams. Okay, right, so everyone that I now delete is going to pop back up. But I, I, I want to get it to where... Right, I think we've got it. I think we've now officially got it. Right, that should now move about and it's just a case of just it should just tick along and do what it's gonna do. Right, okay, so that can now be maximised. I've got no other issues anywhere else, have I? The trains do what they need to do. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty much doing what we need to do. Okay, so I'll give it, I'll give it about another minute uh, so the trams can uh, go in full force of what they need to do. So even though there's backlogs, there's still always one turning up, one turning up and departing, one turning up and departing, one turning up and departing, which is just like the buses. It's maximising how many people it can drop off. So... Now we take a look with these new adjusted figures, and I'll be honest with you, not much has officially changed. So, 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 I think we could maybe agree. Now, you can't argue the fact that the train has a larger capacity so we can kind of transport more people a lot easier. Not when the fact that we've got like 20 buses on a route, <laughs> it can, I mean, it can only deliver so many people at once. So it is what it is. So it still goes the trains, and I would argue then it's going to be then the buses because the these here are not high enough to take over third place. So 111 for the helicopters. Ooh, I think helicopters are going to take third place. Wow. So in this little experiment, it goes trains, buses, then helicopters. Wow. That's really interesting. That really is interesting. 
even I'm kind of low-key surprised at that. So guys, let me know in the comment section right now. How many of you guys use the top three transportation systems in this kind of experiment? How many of you guys use them? How often are you using passenger trains? How often are you maximizing and using your bus system? How often are you using helicopters? Because I'll be honest with you right now, guys. I rarely use passenger trains. I'm always using metros. So then I think there's no point in using passenger trains. Um, in this experiment, metro is pointless. <laughs> it really is. Uh, I rarely use helicopters because obviously how small capacity they are. It's just not good in shifting people. And I always use buses at the start of building a city, but then as soon as my city gets too big, I get rid of the buses. Wow. I need to reconfigure and think about all my life choices. And I think on that note, guys, I'm probably going to end it for here. Let me know what you think about this experiment, guys. Um, definitely interested. Definitely very interested. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.